Hi everybody, it's Sandy Bacus, and I'm back. Uh, I'll have to explain to everybody what's been going on, but uh, I want to welcome everybody back to my channel. It's been just over three weeks since I made a video. Um, after doing them every week for a while and then missing all that time, I kind of really miss doing this, but I got a whole lot of stitching done. I have a whole lot to show you guys today, and I have a whole lot to talk to you about. So um, let's get right into it. Today is Sunday, and um, it is April 29th, 2018. Um, it's in the afternoon of a sunny day in northern Ohio. Um, can't say much for the temperatures, but um, we have had some sunshine here after having a oh many, many days of a ton of rain. Um, we finally got some sunshine. Um, we are only about three miles south of Lake Erie, so our temperatures tend to stay on the cool side. So I think it's in the low 50s out there today, but I'll take it because it's not 30s. Um, we're going down to the, into the 30s at night. Um, I think night before last, um, we had another hard freeze because the, everything was covered with uh, frost in the morning. But, uh, oh, the trees are starting to bud out. Um, Amazingly enough, there are a few of them out there that uh, are starting to bud out and, and those leaves will be opening up and spring will finally be here, maybe by June. <laughs> we'll see. It's been a crazy weather year for everybody, I think. Okay, um, I'm sure that everybody's wondering um, about my health issues. And um, before I continue, I just want to say thank you for um, all of the, the so kind comments and people wishing me the best and um, sending prayers my way. Um, I really appreciated all of that. It was just fantastic. Um, so without further ado, um, I did find out finally after so many weeks of being in horrible, horrible pain, I, I can't even describe. I had pain on this side of my head that's centered right around my ear and just under. And at the worst times, it was all the way up to the top of my head and all the way down to the bottom of my jaw and down into my neck here. And at times it would just throb. And at other times with the Tylenol, sometimes I could get it down to a, a dull ache, but I was in constant pain 24 hours a day. And it just took everything I had. I had no strength, no energy. Um, I did manage to sit and stitch most days, but that was about it. Um, I was just hanging on by a thread and calling doctor's offices and leaving messages and people not calling me back and the insurance company dragging their feet on approving the testing that the doctors were requesting. And then when they told me I had to see an ear, nose and throat specialist, I couldn't get in for weeks. And calling them and asking them, telling them, you know, I'm in so much pain. Is there any way you can fit me in? Nope, nope, nope. Um, all I can say is the medical system is not good in this country anymore. Um, your regular doctor can't do anything for you. Everything you have to go to a specialist. And nobody wants to give you anything for pain. And I'm allergic to half the pain relievers anyways. And then, you know, you just you start feeling like you're just a number out there and that nobody cares. The doctors, the insurance companies, nobody. So and especially when you're in pain, you you kind of really start. You can find always all kinds of ways for your brain to work into stuff. So <laughs> but anyways, what it turned out is that the ear, nose and throat specialist 
checked over a lot of things. He said that my CAT scan was really didn't show anything um, bad. And so when he checked me all over and everything, what it comes down to is it's something called TMJ. And I wrote this down because I can't remember any of this. But it's, and I'm going to try to pronounce this, temporal mantid, mandib, mandibula, <laughs> can't even say it when I'm looking at it on the paper. Temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. It also is called TMD and TMJD. And basically it's an umbrella term covering pain and dysfunction of the muscles and the jaw joints, which connect the jaw to the skull. So in other words, it all stems from right here, right where you have a joint. And I watched a video that shows how your jaw works and how what moves when you open and you close uh, your mouth. And the doctor said he thinks that it's due to arthritis. I think, and I didn't go into it with the ear, nose, and throat doctor, but Remember I told you over the past several months that I feel like I have jumping beans in me. And I told you, um, if you'll recall, that um, when I saw the, the doctor on the 26th of March, that I told her that I was really feeling a lot of anxiety and had been for some time. And she put me on um, a very low dose of Paxil. And I had realized for a while that I had been gritting my teeth, clenching my teeth at times, and even at times just kind of clicking my teeth together. And I think that it's the anxiety causing me to tighten everything up here in this jaw area because I've caught myself doing it so many times, just sitting and, you know, kind of clenching. And I think that that's what did it. He may think it's arthritis. I would think that if it was arthritis, it would have presented a little differently instead of the way it did. But I think it's the teeth clenching. So I'm trying to be very much aware that I'm doing it and try to put my tongue between my teeth when I feel myself doing it. I hope I don't bite my tongue that way. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. But um, it's something that I'm trying to do. And um, I'm also, I see my regular family doctor on the 30th for a regular three month thing. And I think at that time, I'm gonna ask him to up the dosage on the Paxil. And um, because I still feel very, very anxious. And um, they had told me when they gave it to me, they were just gonna give me the lowest dose, but generally people needed more. So I'm gonna ask him to up that and uh, see if that doesn't help. But in the meantime, that is what is going on. What they did was they started me on prednisone steroids. Um, he said that if that didn't help within a week, that then they'd have to send me to a pain management doctor and probably get some kind of a shot right into that jaw joint. Well, I started the medication, I saw the doctor on Friday, started the medication on yesterday morning. And this is one of those deals where you take two pills for three days in a row and then two pills for three, then two for a couple of days, then one, then a half. And it's a total of nine pills. You work your way down over the course of a week. By yesterday afternoon, my pain was gone. Now I did take an Aleve in the morning too, but before the Aleve had not helped at all. And um, so I was like, wow. I told my husband, I, I did three loads of laundry yesterday and a whole bunch of other stuff. And during the time when I was in such pain, I was lucky if I got a load done a week. But I caught up on a bunch of stuff that needed to get caught up on. And um, I really felt so much better. I think I have a ways to go yet. Um, when I woke up this morning, um, I was, and well, last night when I went to go to bed, I was starting to feel a little bit of ache here, but not pain. No pain, just an ache. And this morning when I got up, I had just a little bit of an ache, but I took the medication. 
and I have no pain. Now what I have noticed is if I talk a lot, the aching becomes more. So um, hopefully this video isn't going to send me into a spasm or something. But, but I wanted to get it out of the way because I've got stuff to put away and um, uh, just to get going on stuff. So I am fine. Um, it wasn't anything serious. It's just I had never heard of anything like this before. I've heard of TMJ, but um, I really didn't realize it was that painful. So um, I'm on the mend. Uh, hopefully it won't come back. Um, I watched another video, a YouTube video about exercises that you can do with these muscles here around your, your jaws that will help prevent it from coming back. And then if I stop clenching my teeth, um, I think I should be pretty good to go. So we're 10 and a half minutes in and we really haven't talked any stitching yet. So let's get to that. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about Olivia did wanted to let you know that the poor child is going through hell. Um, it has not been good for her. Um, she has had, well, I told you about the allergic reaction to the chemo. Then um, she had a viral infection and was hospitalized for that. Then she no more and got, in the, got out of the hospital and she got C. diff, which she probably got in the hospital and just came home and that's when it you know, really got bad. She ended up back in the hospital probably for about a week till she got over the C. diff. Um, she's continuing with chemo as she goes along. She has now lost all of her hair. Um, it's just been a rough road. And now um, I was at my brother's, what was that, yesterday? And um, Yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, I was at my brother's and he told me that his son has said that they're now telling them that the treatment could take up to nine years. So she's seven now, so we're talking, this could go into the, her mid-teens. Um, I hope to God not. I hope that it's just the original three to four years that they had predicted and that she won't have to continue with chemo for all of those years. So please keep your prayers and your good thoughts coming for her because she needs them. She really does. Her family needs them. And I appreciate that. So, uh, okay, I had um, a couple of things I wanted to show you. First of all, I got a really nice card. Uh, the light, I'm in my, and I don't think I said anything. I'm in a different spot. I'm in my craft room today, and um, I thought I'd see how shooting a video up here goes. So let me know what you think about the lighting and stuff in here compared to where I've been shooting my videos is down in the living room. Um, I have a light, or not a light. I have an oh yeah, I have a light. I have an overhead light in here, which I don't have in the living room. And but I have a window right here next to me, and that's why we're getting all this <laughs> kind of giving me a side halo effect here. Um, but uh, let me know how this uh, how you think this lighting is uh, when I show my projects and stuff in in how everything shows up. But anyways, I got this really nice card. Um, and uh, it was a, a thank you card with a gift from Susan. And I'm not going to mention her last name because I did not ask her if I could use her last name. So I'm just going to say her first name. It's someone that I had sent one of my free charts to. And she sent me the card as a thank you. And along with it, she sent me something that I promptly broke. <laughs> And I'm sorry because I felt so bad. When I got this, I cried because no one's ever sent me anything like this before. And I was so happy and so excited over it because I, I never had a scissors fob. And um, she sent me this beautiful, hold it over this way against the dark door back there and it'll show up. This beautiful little scissors fob and it had this little angel right on the bottom of it. And I went, so you can see the angel. And I was just, it's beautiful. Let me, well, well, I can't see where to put it here. Anyways, there it is. And this 
get this over here. Okay, where's you're getting my hand? Okay, where's the angel? Oh, there's the angel. Okay, um, and it's beautiful, and I loved it, and I probably put it on my scissors, and I keep my scissors on the arm of my recliner, and they get they fall a lot. Well, one of the times that they fell, the little angel fell off the bottom. So what I did was I took them off of my scissors and um, right my desk in, down in the living room is right straight across from my um, uh, stitchy chair and I have a bulletin board right above there. So what I did was I tacked this up on the bulletin board and tacked the little angel up underneath it and this way when I'm sitting in my stitchy chair every time I look up I can see it. And I think about Susan and her kindness in sending me this. And so maybe it's better than it being on my scissors because I can look up there and see it and think about Susan all the time and think what a lovely person she must be to have sent me this gift. And she made this. So Susan, even though I broke it, I love it. And I am so thankful that you sent it to me. So thank you so much. You're so kind. So that was that. And um, let's see, I'm discombobulated. I'm in a different spot. I'm going to try to figure out where I'm putting stuff here. And then the other day, I got a beautiful card from Andy from Nana, Nana's Needles. And it's a, you know, kind of a get well card, thinking of you card. She wrote me a really, really nice note inside so Andy it came at a time when I really needed it and so thank you so much so much and like I said all of the kind comments and thoughts and prayers I love you guys you really made me feel good I'm gonna cry now oh I don't want to do that I don't want to I get emotional. I'm sorry. It's just that's how I'm made up. And that's probably why I'm anxious all the time. But um, I really do. I love all of you. So now, so to keep myself from getting all blubbery and everything, I'm going to keep going. Uh, okay, next. I uh, remember that little block that I uh, put um the the kitty cats on i went up to dollar general and they had another one and this is what they look like when you buy them and three bucks and um i i so i bought another one and to put another project on and if you remember i think it's i think i've got it yeah it's right back there i got it leaning back there that's a gift for somebody and it just hasn't come the time yet to give it so <laughs> so i got another one of these and um, so I'll be using that. And uh, close up of my face, just what you needed, right? Okay, then, all right, let's see what else. Where am I at? Okay, I have a question. Instagram, I need help from you people that know more about Instagram than I do. All right, you know how on Instagram, Sometimes they'll say it'll be a contest or whatever, or um, just something that somebody else posts that you would like to share with the people that are following, other people that are following you maybe. Um, or they'll say in order to enter this contest, you need to share this post, like this post, um, that kind of stuff. How in the heck do you share an Instagram post? I have, the only time I was ever able to, like to share my granddaughter's pictures was I did a screenshot of their, from their Instagram page and their post and screenshot it. But then that gets all the that stuff from my phone on it too, because it's a screenshot. And when I see other people do this, that's not what it's the original post that's going up there and saying it's a giveaway or whatever it is. And I don't know how to do that. So if there is someone out there that knows how to do that and can put it in the comments or send me a message on Instagram and tell me 
how to do that, I would appreciate it because tech, no, <laughs> I'm not, I am not tech savvy and I can't figure out how to do that. Um, and there was something else I was going to say. Oh, see the brain just, phew. um, and there it just went again. Nope, there it is. It's back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Anyways, my Instagram is Sandy Smith Bacus. So in case you uh, are not already following me on Instagram, it's Sandy Smith Bacus. Okay, I did do some shopping a while back and these items came in. And so I thought I'd share with you really quickly uh, what I got. And first of all, I got some fabric. And I wanted to get some of the hand dyes because they're so much softer than the Charles Craft Ada that I have. And I wanted stuff that um, wasn't heavily um, dyed because so that I could use it on just about anything. So I got this. It's 14 count Legacy Ada. I had seen other people have the, the color Legacy and I kind of thought it was a really nice neutral. So I thought I'd try it. And um, I like it. It's got just a small amount of modeling in it. And um, it's a nice tan, beigey, creamy color. And I got me a 17 by 26 piece because you know me, I'm always going for those big projects. And then um, I'd also seen people ordering or saying that they were using fog. And so I got some 14 count fog. Ada and I like this too it's it's just it's a slightly lighter color than the uh, the legacy but I like both of these so I'll hold them back here a little bit oh yeah you can see them uh, a lot better that way so I am uh, looking forward to uh, starting some projects on those because I have some projects to get started where I will need fabric a lot probably around that size Okay, so that was that, and then also um, my husband likes things that are old, and good thing, because I'm old, <laughs> but anyways, I happened to be on 123 Stitch checking out their weekly sale, and I happened just going through looking at some stuff, and I saw these two charts and I called him up and um, I said, there was actually, I think there was three or four, and these were the two that he chose. And so, um, you know, I did the 67 Camaro for him. And uh, so I got, this is the, the general store. And this is the um, Vickery collection. And so there's the general store. And then this one I didn't open yet, so I, I, I'm just going to leave the plastic on it and see if you can see it. with plant. This one is Route 66. And my husband and I actually, um, for a vacation some years ago, um, we took the Camaro that we had at the time, or not Camaro, Corvette that we had at the time, and... We, um, or did we take the, I'm trying to remember, I, I'm, we talked about taking the Corvette. We may not have driven the Corvette. I can't remember. I think that he was worried about it maybe breaking down. I don't remember now. It's been too many years ago. But anyways, we, we went uh, over and hit Route 66 around Chicago, and then we headed down, and we went down as far as St. Louis, and uh the thing is, is that if you've ever done that, um, most of the old Route 66 is gone. They put you on to interstates, and you can see where the old parts of the old road are, but there are still some that are marked the, the 66, but um, it was fun. We had a good time. All right, I'm getting off the subject here. All right, let's see. Where am I at here? I did not have any finishes uh, because... You know me, big projects, so uh, and I'm working on so many that uh, I don't 
get a whole lot done on stuff. And because it's been a while since I've been here, I thought I would just kind of do like a little whip parade. And the ones I didn't work on, I'll just zip them past you really quick. I know I've picked up some new subscribers. Yay, glad you're here. Um, and uh, so maybe they won't have seen some of this stuff. So um, we're just going to I'm going to go down the thing here. Um, spring Garden Spot, Paula Vaughn. All it needs is backstitch. I have not, during the three weeks that I've not been on here, I have not backstitched. Uh, backstitching I, requires a little more concentration than what I had when I was in pain, so I'm sorry, but I'll get to these. Uh, so here we go, Spring Garden Spot. I hope that's showing up so that you can see it there. Just got to finish all that backstitching. Got a lot done, but got a lot to go. So I will keep plugging away at that. All right, the next one is my Scarecrow. And again, he's done except for the back stitch. And some of it's done and got quite a bit more to go. So I will, uh, that's going to be now that I'm feeling better, that is going to be on my priority list to be getting on that. Uh, the next one that I did not work on was my Cheery Alphabet Sampler. And this is where it was at. And this is where it's still at. Let me pull some threads down. There we go. And so this is not a big one. And I should probably try to spend some time on that. I could probably get it done. Okay, the next one I did not work on was Do All Things With Love. That's uh, that one. And I'll get it out here. And there is where I was at on that one. I'm almost thinking that the further back I hold it, the better it looks. I don't know. Maybe because you're getting the right light on it. I don't know. But anyways, there it is. And not very much on that, but uh, I'll get back to it. That's what happens when you got so many doggone whips going and then I keep kitting up stuff to start and then I want to start it and then I got more whips <laughs> it's a cycle that you get into it's a dark tunnel it draws you in okay now these are the ones I worked on and I did a lot of stitching because I certainly wasn't cleaning and I wasn't doing a whole heck of a lot of cooking so I was stitching so I worked on Frederick, the Literate, my Dimensions Kit, and this is where I'm at on Frederick. Let's get him up there where you can see him. And so it's coming along. You can start to see that there, there's books there, and I'm just starting at the top of the, the kitty head there, kitty ear. Somebody said on Instagram that they could see a kitty ear coming out. <laughs> and I love this. And this is the brown. Um, this is not the kit fabric. This is 14 count brown Ada This um, that I bought at my LNS. Um, hang on just a second. My uh, husband is yelling for me so pause for a sec okay i'm back i think i think we're recording i would hate to think that uh no i don't think we are 